Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Vicuña on CostOS using Bibber CostOS. So I did do a video uh, before on how to do this, but um, Vicuña has been updated, and they combine the front end with the API into one Docker container, so it makes it a lot easier. Uh, but I was alerted to it by the Big Bear community, so thank you for that. And if you see any other apps that are in Big Bear CostOS or my other videos that aren't updated, please let me know in the Big Bear community uh, form. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, Vicuña. It's a self-hostable uh, to-do app. Uh, it's got a really nice UI to it. This is the UI. I did do a video on how to install it on CostOS using Bibber CostOS before, but this is an updated video because uh, the Docker post completely changed, and that uh, they made it simpler, so I'm going to go be going over that as well. Um, you can stay organized, collaborate with peers, uh, use it how you need it. Um, if you go to the features right here, it's open source, and here's the UI. It's built for speed, a, ta a task, a quick add magic, a list, Gantt chart, a Kanban board, table, a import from Todoist, Trello, or Microsoft To Do. That's really handy. And then here's some more features. So. That's what we'll be getting to install today. So how I learned about the Vicuña uh, ch change their Docker repose is the Big Bear community. Uh, uh, this is one in the Big Bear community, a GK Deb, and I thank him for letting me know. Um, if you know of something else that changed inside of uh, the Big Bear Cost OS or anything like that, then uh, please let me know on a uh, Big Bear community. So I'm going to be going over the changes now. So I'm going to be going over the changes in Big Bear Cost OS. The update uh, was Vicuña, the, uh, the commit, and um, the update was for 0 0.23.0. It was in the Big Bear community, uh, that po post that I showed you. Um, the, uh, the things that ch changed was they combined the front-end service and the API service into one. So it's in one a do, a do, Docker image now. So what I done was I, I, I took the front end and the API and combined them into just the Vicuña service right here. And then it's using the Vicuña, Vicuña, and then 0 0.22, uh, a 23.0. Uh, so um, that's basically what the changes uh, was. Um, the environment variables from the API service I uh, moved over here uh, inside of the Vicuña service so and also um, the main down here got changed to Vic Vicuña because that's the name of the service that I named it up here um, uh, uh, the uh, uh, the DB service uh, down here got changed to Vicuña uh, DB and then I had to change the depends on um, the Vicuña service public URL uh, got moved up here, uh, got added up here. I mean, um, so uh, that's about it of the changes. So now I'm gonna start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. And um, uh, Big Bear Cost OS is a third party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, there's quite a few apps in it. Um, I did do a video on how, how to install Bieber Cost OS on Cost OS, but I'm, I'm going to be going over in this video as well. Um, you will need Cost OS version 0 0.4.4 or newer. So I'm going to scroll up. Then I'm going to go to App Store URL, copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get the App Store set up. So now I'm going to install the App Store, Bieber Cost OS. So I'm going to go into App Store right here, go, go to More Apps, the text input pops out. I'm going to paste in the URL. 
add. I'm going to click add. And then it's going to have 168 apps. So I'm going to go over here to the categories. You don't see Bebra Costa list yet. I'm going to refresh the page. Go back into the app store. Go, go to the categories. Not, now you see Big Bear Cost OS. So now I'm going to click it. And now you see all the apps in Big Bear Cost OS that you can install. So that's how to get it uh, set up and working. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to the search and type Big. Okay, now it's got Vicuna right here. So I'm going to click it. And then now I'm going to go into Docker and Pose. So the Cost OS uh, app name is called Big Bear Vicuna. I'm going to set services, and the first service underneath the services is called Vicuna. And then the image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no URL before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. The, the container name is going to be called Big Bear Vicuna. Uh, uh, the ports. So the left side is on the host. If this does clog with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the containers three, four, five, six, do not change this uh, a port. You never change the conti containers port um, unless you're dealing with a Docker file dir directly um, in development. So um, we're going to map the volumes. So on the host is this. So data, app data, the, a dynamic variable, which gotten from the name up here. And then fi files. So this is on the host, and this is on the container, app, Vicuna, files. I do not change the container path. And then environment uh, variables. So the Vicuna service public URL, you can change this to um, the IP and port of your Cost OS. So, and then now we're going to uh, set the uh, da database credentials. And then we're going to use the service uh, name down here. So here you go, uh, this service, container name. Um, and then we're going to set the uh, database password as secret. And then um, we're also going to set a, JB, a JWT secret. So you can change this to another uh, secret if you'd like. And then restart unless stop. So I mean, if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then... This uh, service right here depends on the DB service. And um, it, uh, we're going to put it in the Vicuna network. And that's a, a, uh, a network that's defined down here at the bridge. And then we're going to set the X cost OS information for the environment variables, ports, and volumes. Th this just explains the, those two uh, cost OS. And then we're going to come down here to the service, Vicuna DB, and that's right underneath the services right here. So um, the image is coming off of Docker by default, and it's MariaDB. And then uh, the Docker image tag is 10. The container name is going to be called set, uh, uh, Vicuna DB. And then the, the commands, and then uh, the environment variables. So the MySQL root password, the MySQL user, the MySQL password, and the MySQL database. Uh, these should rhyme with the credentials up here. So um, you cannot cha change the password once this has been um, created. So you have to do it in uh, SQL in the database. So now we're going to set a volume for the MySQL a data. So data, app data, dynamic variable, which gotten for the name up there. And then MySQL, this is on the host. And then this is on the container, var, lib, MySQL. And then we're going to set a restart policy of unless stop. So it means if you stop it for a reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it won't try to restart. And then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to set it, uh, this service in Vicuna Network. And also, this service is in Vicuna Network, so the da uh, so uh, this database host can connect to this uh, service right here. So this service, uh, the Vicuna service right here, stores the data inside of the DB. So these credentials uh, need to be right, so uh, this service can connect to the DB service. So they cost us information down here to explain the environment variables and the volumes. And then it's going to define the network. 
And then it costs us information to explain uh, the app to, to the app store. So the, the supported CPU architectures of the Docker image, and that would be uh, uh, this one. So um, it, it's AMD64 and ARM64. Uh, the main is set to the service name of Vicuña up here. And um, then um, a description and then the tagline of the developer and then the author of the Docker and Pose, the icon, uh, the thumbnail, the title, and then the category so people can find all the Big Bear Cost OS apps in the App Store. And then the part map is 8081. And then scheme is set to HTTP. So that's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to install the app. So, I'm going to go to the App Store. I'm going to go to the search and type Vicuña. Well, Vic. Okay, now um, you see it right here. You know it's com uh, coming from Big Bear Class OS because of this category down here. So I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to install. And what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, and getting up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So th this could take a little bit to install. So it looks like it's installed and uh, up and running. So I'm going to explain the container options. So if you go up these vertical dots right here on the right, you can open the end of the web UI. You can set some tips, so kind of like a notepad. And then you can type te a testing in here, then press the save button. Now it's going to reload the container in the background, say Vicuña is OK. You can go into settings, and you can change some of these, press the save button. You can also go over here to the DB as well. You can uh, go up to the terminal logs and go into the uh, the cont container of Vicuña DB. Um, you can also see the logs uh, here for this one. You can also go over here Vicuña and you can be in the Vicuña one. And then uh, this is the other cont container so, and you can see the logs for that one as well. Um, you can export the Docker and pose here. So I'm gonna exit out of here. So um, you can check for updates. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to go into the UI. So you can open it from here, or you can go up the vertical dots and open it from here. Um, so now uh, you can see it's uh, ru ru running. So now I'm going to create an account. Um, so now you fill in your email address and your password. And then now once you've done that, your username, your email address, and your password, you're going to create an account. So now we're in here, so you can add a task. And this is re really neat. I'll be able to add one really quick. And then there we go. You can mark one off, and then it's uh, it's done. You can also fa a favorite task. So, so it'll be over here in your favorites. Um, so um, if you fa a favorite that one, it'll be over here. Uh, uh, that that one was marked off, so uh, that's why I didn't go over the favorites. Um, the inbox over here, so you can move these up and down. If I do another task, you can uh, move these up and down. Um, you can also search up here. Then uh, that, uh, there we go. Um, you can also filter. You can go to can't. Te a, te a table, Kanban, uh, you can see it's done up here. It, you, you can move these to a different bucket. So if I just say bucket one, and then now we can mo move it along. And there we go. We've moved it. So um, you can also see the upcoming, the projects, labels, t uh, teams, you can also go up here to the search as well and go to a new task, new project. Um, you can see not, not notifications up there. You can go to settings and then uh, change the name. You can update your password. You can update your email. 
avatar, two-factor authentication, export your Vicuña data. It's going to need your current password, though. Import from other services, CalDAV, and then uh, you can generate API tokens. You can completely delete your Vicuña account, too. So that's a little bit about Vicuña's UI. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Vicuña running on CosOS with the new structure of the Docker and Pose. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or, or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.